Okay, CH3503. It's going to be a pretty quick little video here. Um, cell phone video, so um, it is what it is. Well, like most of these little CH blades, this is a beauty. Um, I don't know if you can see on camera, but this thing's got a beautiful uh, blue, uh, blue and purple gold anno job look at this titanium clip on here the machine sculpted titanium clip uh, look at the scalloping around the edges of this blade look at this they put on here because these things are machined like glass when you run your finger on this this feels like glass here this accent excuse me while i itch my nose this accent right here, which I wondered what in the hell that was, and that's one reason I didn't get this knife. Look, at it's a ball bearing assembly, and it spins in the handle. Is that cool or what? Yeah. Um, I don't know if you can catch in the light here. The only defect on this, there's a couple little hairline scratches in this handle. Um, don't, you can only see them when the light's perfect. You cannot feel them. They're so fine, you can't even feel them with your fingernail. Uh, I would suspect those were made from the tool that created this mirror finish. The router bit or milling bit they used uh, probably got some metal shavings stuck to one of the cutting blades and made a very small, made a couple little teeny hairline scratches. Most people are not even going to notice those. The light has to be perfect for you to see it. I think I can, you can kind of see one right there. But pretty pretty minor imperfection. And probably you're going to see that on quite a few of these blades. But it would be difficult to fix, actually, because this is such a mirrored polished finish that trying to get that out of there would cause some issues. So anyway, you just have to live with it. Like I said, most people would not even notice it. I'm just kind of anal that way. And look at the, uh, uh, see if I can get the right angle here so there's not so much light um, reflecting. But look at the anno job. Look at the anno job on that backspacer. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. The anno job on the clip is gorgeous. Look at that anno job, dudes. Oh, man, this thing's gorgeous. It really is pretty. I wish it was a flipper. Um, I have kind of a hard time opening these blades. I have short fingers, and my fingers have a tendency to get on this lock bar, and so it kind of gouges my thumb opening these blades. But anyway, look at the freaking machining on this. And there's micro lines in this. It's not just chamfered. There's little teeny hairline lines uh, milled into this with the same contour as the chamfer. And, uh, oh man, I'm telling you, man, this thing is, um, dudes, uh, <laughs> I ordered a 3501 and the seller, uh, on eBay messaged me back and said he did not have any 3501. They were out of stock um, and there'd already been like a four day delay. So he wanted to substitute this blade and actually this blade sells for more than the 3501 I ended up getting this for the same price this comes pretty close to the same price as the skull blade which after seeing it I can understand why um, if this ha if this was a flipper I would prefer this knife to the skull blade um, personally but it is gorgeous like most of the CH blades I'm not going to sit here and ramble on for a long time on this I'm just Trying to give you a look. There's no other videos on this blade out there. Beautiful stone wash blade. Same three and a half inch. Very similar shape to the uh, 3501 skull blade. Very similar shape to that. Or is it the 3501, 3504? Maybe I'm getting them mixed up, guys. But the skull blade. We'll call it the skull blade. I think the 3501 is the one I ordered that he didn't have. But this handle has... They have a couple different color schemes. This one is like a gold with purple and blue in it and uh, it's gorgeous man but I'm telling you dudes uh, you can see right there you can kind of see that hairline scratch right here it's about an inch long the light has to be just right 
you can't feel it with your fingernail, so it is a really, really fine scratch. But like I say, I think it was created by the tool that, made, that it was doing the milling on the handle, so kind of hard to prevent that. But most people, like I say, most people would not even notice that little teeny scratch. You had, the light has to hit it just right to see them. There's a couple of them. One of them goes like this, and one of them goes like this. But not a big deal. I mean, um, if this was an American blade, you know, this is a semi-custom. <laughs> uh, I would not be surprised to see $350, $400 price tag on this blade. Um, it's uh, got ball bearing pivot, of course, and this is a ball bearing. This is bigger than the actual ball bearings. This is really cool. I sit and just spin this. It kind of feels funky on your thumb to do that, but it's kind of cool. I didn't know what this was, and that's one reason I never, I didn't want to order this blades because I thought it was just kind of a funky. I didn't realize, I, I figured out before I got it that it was a ball bearing assembly, but I did not know that they had machined a race into the handle and you, it, it actually spun. It's pretty cool. It's, it's a cool little blade. Anyway, look at the machining on that, uh, lanyard hole check that out man and that backspacer is just freaking gorgeous on this knife man um this thing is a beauty okay so i just made this video because there's no videos on it out there um this blade you're gonna be hard pressed to find it for less than about 75 to not 80 dollars i got this for quite a bit less because I took it as a substitution. I paid a lot less, actually, than that. But you're not going to be able to probably find it for that cheap of a price. So I'm not even going to say what I ended up getting this one for. But um, it was very inexpensive. To get a knife like this for, you know, for less than $100, um, it's unbelievable. Seriously, it's unbelievable. This thing is absolutely gorgeous, you know. These CH knives are beautiful. They're going to be selling these in America through American Distribution. And this blade will probably be about 300 bucks, I would imagine, two or three years from now. Um, and I really can't afford to buy any knives right now, but I, I, I just, I'm, I've got a problem, dudes. I cannot pass these up for 50, 60 bucks. These blades, unbelievable. Uh, this is D2 steel. It's not S35VN. This blade here, though, if this was S35N, they'd have to sell this for around 100 bucks. So I guess they use the D2 to keep the cost down a little bit on it. But this thing's gorgeous. Uh, I haven't seen any other videos on it, so I just thought, you know, I'm not getting into all the specs and all that crap. I'm just giving you guys a look, telling you this is a gorgeous blade, just like all the other CH blades. Um, explain to you what this funky deal is here. I like it. Now that I got it, I, I sit and spin this thing because it makes it makes your thumb feel funky. Feels good, actually, kind of. Um, it's cool. Anyway, I was kind of really surprised that that thing moved, but I did figure out it was ball bearings before I got the knife. But I was surprised. It's I thought it was just stationary, but no, it pivots. Any anyway, man, this is the stone wash is beautiful on it. Um, yeah, I don't know if you're picking that up or not with the lighting I've got going here, but. Hopefully not too much reflection. Anyway, you know what? That's it. She is gorgeous. I would highly recommend picking one up. Take her easy.